Good evening everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now, um, as you know, over the last month or two, um, the both the Patreon and the YouTube channel have been going through a kind of period of change. There's been new shows being added, uh, shows that we've had, you've been watching for a while, coming to an end, or slowly coming to an end. Father Ted ended last week. Limmy's show is very close to ending, Young Ones is close to ending, and your language is close to ending, and I'm also doing two series that only have one season, which is uh, Filthy Rich and Cat Flap, and Believe Nothing. Um, and with the shows that, the, the new shows that I've been adding, one of them was a show that I started doing a long time ago, and then stopped it, and then resumed it after a long time and that was Benadon. <clears throat> so I thought tonight I'd do that again with another series that was very popular when I did the first episode. It got quite a positive response on Patreon. Um, I know at least, I can think of two people off the top of my head who I talk to regularly who like this show and uh, miss it. Wish that I would have carried on with it. It's, well it's two doors down. So. Yeah, I'm going to do episode 2 tonight, see how you all respond to it, and if it gets a good response, it'll end up the same way as Benadorm and become part of the regular scheduled programming, if you like to call it that. So, yeah, without much further ado, I'm just going to crack on with episode 2! What's the description saying? That's a photo of that means Christine has to stay over at Eric and Beth, Kathy and Colin have a bus stop. Okay. I don't remember much about this apart from the fact that Mary's in it and Fergie from Still Game. Cool. Let's go. Nearly done. What do you think? I don't like it. There she is. Mary Doll! Do you want a glass of fresh orange? Fresh orange? Ah. Uh. Fresh orange juice? Uh-huh. You know fine well that I don't take fruit juice after my coffee and before my second tablet. OK, Mary. <laughs> Mum, did you see that big Alsatian for the flats has been sneaking in and peeing in the garden again? I have no interest in dogs peeing in grass. <laughs> <laughs> That's annoying. Do you know if we recorded? We did. I watched it, deleted it. When have you ever seen a mushroom that colour? Chestnut mushroom. It's horrible. It looks like... Like what? The inside of a dirty nappy. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> what is the matter with you? The matter with me? It's nothing the matter with me. Right. Well, I'm getting up the stairs. Well, you'll know the way. What? Up the stairs. Oh, I get it. Uh-huh. Look, Mum, uh -huh. it was just me having a friend over at the house. What's so bad about that? Oh, you know fine well that if you want to have a friend over, that is OK by me. You only have to let me know when they're coming and I'll put my good tracksuit on, wipe down my wee table and open my window. My good tracksuit you on. chose to go behind my back when I was away up at the doctor's getting my ears syringed to invite this so-called friend over. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, it's not pot puri we need in a half like. <laughs> pot puri. <laughs> it's not pot puri. And it's a bowl of peppermints and a selection of Johnny bags. For God's sake! And yes, I would like a fresh orange juice. I'm going out. Oh, Mum, I'm going out. What the fuck? You bastard! You bastard! Yeah! Oh. The ceiling just collapsed. What? To be honest, that is quite a low-key, calm response to the ceiling falling on you. Ya bastard! I'd be jumping up and going absolutely mental! It'll 
It'll be lighter when it dries. It'll be fine. It's only a spare room. It's Ian's room. Aye, but we're turning it into a spare room. It's still his room, though, Eric. I will tell him to get his arse in here and paint it then. Oh, who the hell's this? <laughs> Christine, oh my God! I see that she's the type of woman who's going to collect that anger and it's going to build up and build up. There's your specs, Christine. Oh, thanks, Beth. Thank God you were in. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to put you any bother. You sure? Just one of those coffees you do in the cafeteria will be fine. All right, Christine. <laughs> bloody hell. You've been in the home baking again. Oh, how bloody oh, hell. Her yeah. ceiling's come in. Now, where make her a cup of tea? Coffee. Ah, coffee, coffee, that's right. I'm in shock, Eric. No glass of water you meant to have for shock. Oh, well, it's fresh oh. coffee with two brown sugars with me. Ah. <laughs> Right. So the whole thing came down on your head? Like fucking Pompey, <gasps> Beth. Like fucking Pompey, <laughs> Beth. Uh, no warning. One minute I'm sat there quite happy after a row with Sophie. The next thing I know, I'm what sitting happened? there with a lampshade in my head and picking bits of Artex out of my teeth. <laughs> As I say, Beth, I'm still in shock. <laughs> oh. Eric! Bring a biscuit. Ah, right. God bless. So God what bless. Were you and Sophie at loggerheads about? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, Beth. Okay. And best to say nothing. Right enough. She's been getting pumped. <laughs> oh. I don't want to talk about it, Beth. I'm best to say nothing. Two seconds later, she's been getting pumped. <laughs> Every time I've been out at the doctor's, Sophie's been upstairs having sex with a boy. Every time? I shall be exhausted. How did you manage to find out about this? <laughs> Pumping. Pumping? I call it mother's intuition, Beth. <laughs> you know, there's many things I love about Scotland. It's people, it's cool, everything about it. But one of my favourite things is the words that you have associated with describing sex. Pumping, getting your hole, getting your Nat King call, dipping her. You know, I've learned many great words. You've got a great vocabulary for describing it. I love it. <laughs> Call it logging into Facebook and having a look at our private messages. Hit the plunger on that, will you? Yeah. Pumping's one of Where's my favourites. Oh, I don't know. She stormed out in a huff. Well, let's not worry about that. The important thing is that you're both OK. Thanks, Beth. You're a star. A bright, shining star. No trouble. Oh, God bless. You don't have any of those wee pink wafers, do you? Because I don't like any of these. Oh, thanks. Oh, there you are, Beth. Wait oh. till you see this. You are going to love it. What is it? It's the hotel in Egypt I've just booked for me and Cole. Charm El... Some. Hello, Some. Kathy. Oh, Christine. She looks like she... Her ceiling caved in on her. Oh, you're joking. Anyway, let me fire this up and show you a picture of the pool. So it just caved in, did it? Aye. And what's Aye. above it? The bathroom. Ah, he may be the leak. Uh, and made in a flaming leak when it slammed down on top of me, I'll tell you that. Have you got insurance? Aye, I do. Oh, you'll be fine. When I set fire to my kitchen, I got a brand new one. How did you do that? I set fire to it. <laughs> I wanted a new one. <gasps> Would you look at that? Me with wow. insurance. Oh, what's that one with the dog? Uh, Churchill. Uh, well, it better start fucking nodding when it sees my claim form in front of it. Sorry about the language there. <laughs> You've got insurance. Aye, what's that one with the dog? Churchill. Aye, well, it better start fucking nodding when it's got my claim in front of it. <laughs> it's a shock, you know. You're all right. It's an absolute bastard, so it is. <laughs> Did you take any pictures? No. Beth, Beth. Infinity pool. We took pictures of the upstairs toilet when it flooded, didn't we? <laughs> oh, I, I've still got them somewhere. Oh, well, I'll maybe have a look at them later on, Eric, if you don't mind. Beth, Beth, gold taps. Could you just leave it a minute, Kathy? Uh, Christine, Eric uh, will take the pictures for you. <laughs> I don't think I could face going back over there. No, at the minute. Oh. Uh, don't worry, Christine, I'll seat it for you. Eric, get Colin to do them on his phone. His camera's better than yours. You don't mind? No, of course not. 
mean, if Beth's having you to stay here for a few days, it's the least me and Cole can do, isn't that right? Aye. Wow. Well, here we are. Drop bags layer. You need your tennis lately. <laughs> you should have a fair amount of sweeping up to do, eh? I don't worry. She's no stranger to a broomstick. Ah, all right, let's get this done. Ah, ah. I've got enough of my hands over the road. <clears throat> oh, why? What's it you're doing again? Oh, Beth's got me redecorating Ian's bedroom. Why? Oh, Empty nest now, Eric. Hmm. Chance for you and Beth to enjoy some time on your own. Yeah, I suppose so. We'll make the most of it. Nah. Before the old age kicks in. Yeah, well. One of you dies. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, for God's oh, sake. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, that you should be worrying about that. No. No, anyway, it's usually the man that pops it first. <laughs> oh, nice one. What about there? No, no, that's no good. It, it's not comfortable. It's my neck, you see. Keep going. Left a bit, left a bit, left, left a bit, left, left, left. That's it, that's it. Oh, and that's better there. <laughs> In you come. Is she all right? No, she's fine. We're just setting her up in front of homes under the hammer. Mum, yeah. you all right? Oh, I'm fine. I just about get buried alive. But you'll not be giving two shits about that, will you? Hello, Sophie. What's she doing here anyway? I texted her, Christine, let her know what was going on. What's the matter with you two? She's been... Uh, not now, Christine. She's been bumping. She's been what? Uh, what have you been up to, you little minx? Not now, Cathy. Let's not go into that just now. That's right, Christine. That's not what he said. <laughs> Least said, soonest mended. OK, fair enough. She's been at the pumping. <laughs> She's been at the pumping. I'm needing filled up with a coffee again. Oh, Scotland. Oh, Scotland. What are we going to do? What do you mean? Well, we're not actually going to have her stay in the night, are we? We're going to have to. Where are we going to put her? I'll just have to make her up a bed on the sofa. Oh, God save us. Coming down in the morning to see that lying in front of you like bag puss. But you have your cornflakes for life. Look, <laughs> all we're talking about is one person for one night. Surely we can cope with that. Christine's getting a bit agitated, so I've said to Sophie she's just to stay as well. Oh, God. Thanks. I was off an ace of Beth to offer to do this for Christine and Sophie. We'd have offered ourselves if we hadn't been going on this holiday. What holiday? Egypt. You've never been to the Valley of the Kings, Eric? No. Aye, well, we're no born men any of that shit either. <laughs> we're going to the nice bit. Sharmel Sheikh. You the nice see bit. This hotel we're going to. It's a traditional... Oh, so the part of Egypt that's steeped in thousands of years of history isn't the nice bit. Arabian palace. The wares on white robes, a, a fountain in the shape of a sphinx, and a wee pro-side cafe that does chips and toasties. All right for some, eh? Chips I told you, Eric. Any time you want, I'll get you the keys to my pal's caravan over in Dundee. Just give me the nod and I'll get him to clear it out for you. That's an awful lot lighter than it in than it is in the wall. Oh, Christ, don't you start. Here, put your big light on and see it properly. Here, you're not epileptic, are you, Eric? <laughs> He's going to fuse it. Can I do anything? No, you're fine, Sophie, don't worry. I'm really sorry about all this. No trouble. Now, what does your mum take on her toast? Oh, just butter, but do it all the way to the edges, otherwise she won't eat it. She's a pain in the arse, isn't she? Well, just... It's OK, I know what she's like. She's a pain in the arse, aye. <laughs> she drives me mental, Mrs Baird. It's tough when you're a parent, Sophie, watching your kids grow up, doing grown-up things. She might give you a hard time now, but when you move out... When I move out? Well, eh, in the future, you move out. Well, look at me and Ian. When he was here, he used to drive me round the twist, and now he's away, doing his own thing. I miss him. Understandable. We weren't even doing anything upstairs. Were you not? No. We're just sleeping. Oh. We'd already done it on the kitchen floor, so we were knackered. 
Oh, uh, Cole, she can't see this. Blimey. What? She can't see it. It's too wee and her eyes gone. How can he know I've just done it in a proper camera? I used to have a lovely big camera that a fucking chimp nicked off me when I was at the safari park. Cole, put it on the laptop. <laughs> Never get the tripod, though. <laughs> I'd have rammed that up its wee red arse if I'd got a hold of it. <laughs> I'd have rammed that up its wee red arse. Wee red arse. Fuck off. Wee red arse. A laptop in here for. Are we showing Beth pictures of the hotel? I'm thinking of taking Sophie away on holiday next year. If she behaves herself. Oh, that would be nice. What are you thinking? Rotterdam. Rotterdam? Go the way by coach, you know. None of that taking your shoes off and having folk swab your shampoo. Right, Christine. Uh, look. Can you see it? Oh, aye, I can see it. Why you got. What's no, the. That's the screensaver. I've been to Rotterdam. Well, I've been through it. There's literally nothing to do there. It's Amsterdam you want to go to, not Rotterdam. Oh, oh, oh here, right. right. Can you see it now? Oh. Rotterdam is literally a port and an airport. Wait, where's Amsterdam? Oh, not... Yeah, it's just, no. It's not oh. a holiday destination. Oh, for heaven's sake, would you look at the state of that? All that horrible Artex. I took a good dozen or so. Done some panoramic in case you want to get it framed. <laughs> <laughs> How do you see the other ones? Yeah, let me. Oh, you're fine. I'll do it. Leave it. Yeah. Now, what have we got here? Eh? <gasps> oh, for God's sake! Oh, shit! Oh, wait a minute, Christy. Who? Where? Oh, I see. What is it, Mum? What's going on? Now, now, now Kathy, oh. look. Don't overreact. Oh, that's not. You didn't video yourself. No. Now, Kathy, look. It's obviously a, a spam virus. Beth, I need spam the Spam virus? virus. <laughs> you didn't. No, it's not even my laptop. Kathy, look. Unbelievable. Who is it? It's all right, Beth. It's all right. I'm not going to cause a scene. You've been wanking off again, haven't you? No. Kathy! Just give me a straight answer. Have you or have you not been wanking? Come on, Kathy. Have you been wanking? a wee fiddle with themselves, do they know it? Eric, out. Right, out. Come on, Cathy. Get out of my sight. You're a... Wanker. You're a... Wee sly wanker. <laughs> Toast anyone? <laughs> Toast anyone! Unbelievable! I know, Cathy. Did you see it? I just saw a bit. Just saw a bit? Of a bum and a pair of shoes with see-through heels. That's disgusting. I could kill him. At the end of the day, him and a million other men. I know that, Beth. I caught Eric in the hut with the Littlewoods catalogue and a pump dispenser of Nivea. Ah! Uh, got... Too much! You weren't trying for a baby, were you? Sorry? We are supposed to be trying for a baby. Oh, I mean, that's the whole point of us going to Egypt. I mean, it might. Aren't they a bit old? I mean, the bloke, her husband looks to be well into his 50s. I don't know how old she is, but she's definitely not 30 anymore. Isn't it a bit late for that? Just not that easy. Oh, well, there are lots might, of people yeah. having babies in their late four, mid four to <laughs> all ages. Mm -hmm. All the dates marked <laughs> up on the calendar. I'm pumping myself full of hope. Just got herself. <laughs> Hormones, I'm on a special diet. Don't eat this, don't drink that. <laughs> she stands there slamming down a fucking third glass of wine. 
And all the time, he's in front of the laptop the, with a sheet of kitchen roll, oh. moving and puffing. Oh, it's a disgrace! Look, Kathy, I don't think it's that bad. When you go back over there tonight, sit him down, just the two of you, and hash it out. I'll be doing no such thing. I won't be going anywhere near him. I won't be setting foot in that house tonight. Why? Where are you going? Well, I'm staying here, of course. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> she has been in this house literally about ten minutes, and she's already got three people staying in it now. Including I mean, herself. That are addicted to that stuff, Eric. These two. No. And her. Used to be, it was magazines. I remember I found one stuffed in behind her edge. Did you? No. Uh, ebony sluts. Eric, can I steal you away for a minute? It was a bit quiet and very happily, yes. Eric. Right, I need you to go up to the loft. What for? We need the blow-up bed down. How many need that down? I thought Christine was just getting a bed made up on the couch. And Sophie, she's getting into Ian's room, is she not? Yes, that's right. So, why do we need the blow-up bed? Because Cathy's staying. She's what? Oh, you're kidding me, Owen. Eric, Cathy's quite upset. She's in a very vulnerable state at the moment. Beth, Beth! Sleep over! Oh, I forgot. Eric, run up to the shop and get us some fags, would you? Well, let me put it up. Give me the elastic band. No, it's fine, honestly. Just let me put it up. I mean, obviously, it's quite greasy just now, but when it's washed, scrape it all back off your face and show off that lovely big forehead. Here, Christine. What do you think of that? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Trying to make her a bit more feminine. There was no feminine about her, apart from the sports socks. Ah, sports socks! <laughs> Two for a pound! She doesn't want to look like that, does she? Nobody would want to look like that. What the darling? There's nothing wrong with what she's got on. In fact, that cardigan was mine for a long time. And what does Sophie think? Let's ask her, shall we? Because unlike you, Christine, I am interested in what Sophie has to say. I just... Oh, that might be Colin. Beth, Beth, if that's Colin, I'm not here. Right, you are. Yeah, but you are, and that's the problem. Ian! Hey, Mum. Oh, here he is. Full house, and let me guess he's going to stay as well. Those things? Oh, fine. Christine's ceiling's collapsed, so her and Sophia's... Let me guess, him and his boyfriend have had a falling out, so now he needs to stay the night. It's going to be four. Now, a four, sir. Staying here until they can get... This place has gone from, you know, the home of a, a married couple to halfway to being a bloody travel lodge in about 15 minutes. Get someone round to look at it. 18 Kathy's minutes. Have the mother of all ding-dongs with Colin. Don't ask what about, but she's decided the best thing would be for her to bunk in here as well. Oh, yes, and we've run out of tea bags. Wow. So, how are you? Um, I'll split up with Jazz. Yeah! <laughs> Eric, back How up did into the I know? Loft. How did I know? <laughs> Keep going. Faster. Fun. There. Here. Well, that's not bad at that. I'd never have lasted a full night in that couch. And you're sure you're warm enough with the two duvets? Two duvets! Oh, well. We'll see how I go. There's a glass of water for you there in the last... Do you know what it is, right? I, remember, I think it was last summer. It was either last summer or the summer before when there was... No, it was last summer when that mental heat wave came, wasn't it? Where it was like 40 degrees almost across the entire UK. And both of us, we were like... We, we just couldn't sleep. So we got two new summer duvets. But I'm happy with that through winter as well. It's just because it's right thin and light. I'm happy with that in winter as well as summer because it's just so light and nice and airy and comfortable. Two duvets? Who needs two duvets? So the paracetamol. Thanks, Beth. You're a good spud. No bother, Christine. <laughs> You're a good spud. <laughs> Beth. Give me. 
What now? What is it? What's the chance is there another one of the wee pink wafer biscuits? Is it? I start the fucking world with a pair of his box of shots to sleep in, would you? What are you doing? I'm letting the bloody catty come out of the loo. You got a spare pair of boxer shorts? I'm not that desperate. I shot the sherry! Bathroom three, Eric. Ben, you got any cotton buds? I've been through there trying to clean my ears with a Kirby grip. Mom! Mm. Coming in! I told you to open the windows, so far you not choked with the smell of the paint. No, it's fine. Ian's farts are blocking out. Hey! <laughs> so, the two of you all right in here then? Yeah, you didn't waste much time got in this place. It's still your room, Ian. I just went none of my stuff left in it. Don't be daft, it'll always be yours. Ooh, I'm sleeping in Ian's room. <laughs> Sorry, sure, we'll have your mum up here checking nothing's going on. Ma Sophie? Sleeping in a boy's room? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not happy about this at all. Shh, Sophie. Mm -hmm. Christine, Christine, she's trying to tell me help. I'm on the top. Trish, you two, <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> oh, and as for that, Cathy White. What is it, Cathy? Have you got a lamp? A lamp? I want to do some dancing in the mirror. I don't like the big lights. Look, Cathy, do you not think... Dancing, it's bedtime. Literally everybody in this house is now either in bed or in the process of going to bed and she wants a lamp so she can do fucking dancing in the mirror. It's time you just went to your bed. I don't know about yeah. you, but I am shattered. I. Are you? Yes. I come. Oh, Cathy, just get to your bed. Uh, bed, you boss. <laughs> no. Cathy, bed. I don't want to go to bed. Bed, Cathy, Oh, my no. God, she's like a fucking child. Stop it, Cathy! Now settle down! Is she a child? In a woman's oh, body? Dear God in heaven. Oh, I've never been so glad to get to my bed in my life. <laughs> if Christine shouts you in the night, just ignore her. <sighs> she'll not shout. How do you know? She's got her mobile. She said she'll just ring me if she needs anything. Oh, God, here we go. Good night. I can see what's going to happen now. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> now what? Oh shit. I am Ian here. Leave me a message after the beep and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. <laughs> Ian. That'd be me, I can't do that Ian. to save my life. Never have been able to. Hiya, hiya. Well, it's you. You're taking my sensor there. I thought it was a fox. Turns out it's a human being. Right. What's going on? I was just trying to see if Ian's in. Not bad, just phone him. But he's not picking up. Oh, I see. You used to have had a wee fallout. Well, yeah. Oh, dear. I sympathise with you. Right. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Me and Kath had a wee set to and all. All right. OK. Well, it's a... There's a misunderstanding, but it's pretty serious, actually. I had to cook my own tea. Right. Oh, that... he had to cook his own tea. Oh, the poor bloke. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, shouldn't burden you with it. Yeah, I've kind of got enough. See, what it is, is that Cathy's annoyed at me because I've been watching a wee mucky film or two in the old laptop. You know what I mean? Listen, it was, it was none of your weird stuff. It was just just two lasses in a, in a corner bath. I mean, but who doesn't even watch it? Well. It'd be two guys with you, wouldn't it? Probably in a gym with, with baseball caps and designer underpants. Please and stop. But I don't know. You tell me. But anyway, Cathy basically has got it in her head that I shouldn't be doing that stuff while we're trying for a baby. But see, I read on the internet that it's better to make sure that it's all flowing, you know? That it's coming out the boiler and up through your pipes and then your radiator. <laughs> and, and, and radiators, as we know, need to be bled to keep them working, and hey, you know, that's all I was doing, you know. I'm just bleeding my own radiator. Finished? Ian, Ian, it's me. What do you want? Just let me in. Go home. I 
I'll text you in the morning. Ian, I'm sorry. Just let me in. I want to talk to you. Are you OK? Hey, j just before you do that, and, and listen, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, but hey, you, you, you wouldn't happen to know if Cathy's awake, would you? Look, I don't know. She's in another bedroom. Who's that? Sophie. What's she doing in there? She had to come in beside me because Christine's on the airbed. Christine's on the airbed? Christine's on the airbed, Sophie's in with me, and Kathy's in the other room. Kath. Don't even look at me. You're disgusting. You're a pervert. Hmm? Why, Jazz? Did you wake up? Kath, come on back to the house. I'm not talking to him. Jazz, tell her. What? What? Tell her what I told you. She's not listening to me. What do you want me to do? He's been bleeding his radiator. <laughs> That sperm was for Egypt, Cole. <laughs> it's not a limited supply. <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's not like fucking Milky Way Krispy Rolls when they brought them out temporarily last month, you know, for a little bit. <laughs> it's a self, you know, self-sustaining supply of bodily fluids. <laughs> Stop now. <laughs> I'm coming down. Oh, my God. Why can't you just chill out about stuff? I'm sorry. Look, I know I'm a nightmare sometimes, and I know I get stressed about stuff, and I'm really sorry I shouted at you when you switched the lava lamp off. And I'm sorry I put your polo shirt in the tumble dryer. But I only make a fuss because I care. Because... Because, well, I love you. Come here. Are you going to start crying? Don't. Don't do it. I was just sitting and there you go. I was just sitting and there you go. <laughs> you all done now? Don't let him in. Kathy, shh. I'm not joking. Don't let him anywhere near me. You're the one who came downstairs. Oh, no, oh here we go. Christine, why don't you go back to your bed? Just beat it, Christine. I beg your pardon. I think you just need a couple of minutes to themselves. It's very complicated. Something about sperm in Egypt, Christine. <laughs> Mum, go back to bed. There's fucking Sophie, wait. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Whoever's on makeup duty on this show, they've absolutely nailed the bedhead. She literally does look like she's just got out of bed. And so does she. And yeah. Fair play. <laughs> That's very convincing. Something about sperm in Egypt, Christine. <laughs> Mum, go back to bed. There's fucking Sophie waking up now as well. Get back to bed, Sophie. <laughs> no. What? No. Stop telling me what to do. Oh, you just dear. go in there I and go to sleep. I've had my ceiling oh, falling and everything. Just you and Daddy speak to your mother Shh. like that. What in God's name is going on? <laughs> Beth, it's awful. The only Colin one who is isn't up is Eric. He's in the house and he's waking up Christine. Hey, Mrs. Come on, Cathy. Come on back to the house. Right, Shut up! Shut up! Everybody. Shut up. Mm. Sophie, your mum's just looking out for you. Christine, you're her mum, but she's practically a grown woman, so just put a sock in it once in a while. Cathy, Colin said he's sorry and he's not going to do it again. Are you, Colin? No. Say it. What? Promise me. Say, I will never wank again. <gasps> say it. That's not something a man can really say. <laughs> Depends what situation he's in. Go on, Colin. I will never wank again. Right. It's smashing. It's you smashing. Two... We're fine. Talk marks. Talk so, marks. Can we all, for God's sake, just get to our beds. <laughs> <laughs> with a little lamp, Christine. <laughs> no, is it? Yeah, Christine. Oh, oh now what? Oh. You're too weak. Yes. Yes. Listen, thanks for sorting all that out. That's all right. 
you know you can stay here whenever you want. You're always welcome, pet. <laughs> oh, we, what are you doing, you clown? Come on, out! What's out. going on? What's going on? Nothing, Cathy. <laughs> Come on, chef. No, no, I'm just going. Help! 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 Fucking ceiling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that you knew bastard. it. <laughs> you bastard! Again! <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen! <laughs> I knew it! I just knew it! What else could have happened but that? I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> oh, God, that's the end. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, well, first of all, first thing that I can't work out why didn't I carry on with this? I can remember... I can't... Well, actually, I can't really remember much of episode one. But I remember, like, the gen, the gist of it. Like, there was a summit with the freezer. There was summit with a fish. I think one of the blokes had caught a fish and he was on about. I remember her... Um, her... So, is it Sophie? Not Sophie. Not the big lass. The, uh not Christine, not his mum, the other woman who was arranging for everybody to stay and invited herself to stay and her, hus her husband, Wanky McWanky Chops, they were proper snobby and going on about how rich they were sort of thing, you know, rubbing it in their faces and saying, oh, your house is tiny, I think, I remember that, yeah. But this was so funny. <laughs> You know what? I think after that, I don't think I really care about the response that this video gets. Whether it gets one like and one comment from one person saying, oh, well, I can take it or leave it. Or if it gets six likes and six comments from six of you saying, go for it. I think I'm just going to do it anyway. Because if this is episode two, And I think I can remember when I did episode one back then that somebody said it does just keep getting better and better as it goes on. Then, yeah, I need more of this, I think. But, you know, it does mean a lot to me. It matters to me what you lot think. So, get involved with this now, right? Because, to be honest, on Patreon... Most of the content, it, you've been a bit quiet about in response to it. So, dig deep and get responding to this. I'm going to put something in the caption, in the title, to tell, to basically say, you know, I need your opinion on this. Do you want this to come back? You know, I could have just done a poll for this like I did with Peaky Blinders. I did a poll on YouTube asking people if they wanted me to bring that back. And it won in favour of yes. But I still haven't brought it back yet. Because, well, I, I don't know why, to be honest. But it was only about a week ago that I did that poll. I didn't do one for this. I don't know why. I guess I didn't think about this. I mean, honestly, yeah, before I started recording this, I was just thinking, lo looking for what I was going to do tonight. I was going to do Black Adder, to be honest. But I couldn't find a decent enough place to do episode five. It's not on any streaming site, apart from ITVX. But you need to pay for ITVX Premium to access it. And I'm not fucking paying for something that I can get for free on Daily Motion. But the reason why I didn't watch it on Daily Motion is because the quality was shite. 
Then I thought about doing the next episode of Still Game, which is Ring, and then I saw that Ring is one of the episodes from the previous channel, from when I did it the first time round, that's actually one of the episodes I saved. So I'm just going to re-record that and put that on YouTube. Uh, then I think I look, looked at doing the next episode of Thin Blue Line. But then I thought, no, it's only a few days since I did the last episode of that, and then not going out. I only did not going out two days ago, or three days ago. So, then I remembered this, and I thought, why not? I'll give it a go. I'll do the next episode. Yeah. So, do you want this back? I want it back. After this one episode, I want this to come back now. I want to see where this goes. I want to see more of it. So, that that that's my opinion. That's how I feel about it. How do you feel about it? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, there's a comment that I, she she's not even on the Patreon anymore, I don't think. But uh, the main person who in favour of this hasn't commented on this, but I think she might have liked it. Or maybe not. But, yeah. That was, that was really funny. I really enjoyed that. And I think I definitely want, yeah, I definitely want to see, see more, see the next episode now. So there you go, that was episode two of Two Doors Down. Absolutely hilarious. I knew that that ceiling was going to collapse on her again before the end. I just knew it. As soon as he, he jumped on the bed and then she came in, I just, it was, it was clear what was going to happen to me. It was clear to me. Absolutely hilarious. I loved it. So thanks everybody for watching, um, this might end up on YouTube at some point as well, so if it does and you're watching this on YouTube, um, obviously if this ends up coming back permanently and properly, I will make an announcement on the community tab on YouTube to let you all know. Um, so, by the time that you're seeing this and by, by the time you're seeing that confirmation, if it does come back, then obviously... If you join the Patreon, you'll get access to all the episodes without whatever I need to do to get around the copyright. Um, and you'll get access to the episodes earlier. Uh, plus everything else, depending on what tier you join. Join the right tier and you'll get just absolutely everything. And um, Two Doors Down is an early access series. It's, see, it's on the list. So I was, obviously when I when I did this list a few a couple it was only a couple of months ago I did this list I obviously intended to bring it back then at some point so there you go also <clears throat> um the new promotions feature on Patreon that I signed up to be part of the uh, testing period I'm one of the creators that Patreon has picked to test the new feature and the first new feature that I've been allowed to test is autopilot which means it's going to send a free upgrade uh, an up uh, an upgrade offer to my free members so those are the people that are following the patreon but they haven't paid they're just following it for free and that offer is 90% off your first month in any tier of your choice so if you've received that offer, because it doesn't tell me how many people it sent it to, that number only changes if someone actually takes the offer and upgrades to a paid membership. So I don't know how many people have got that offer. So if you are a free member, oh wait, but if you're a free member, how are you going to see this? Wait, I'll screen record this part of the, this video and put it on, on public. Right, yeah. If you're one of my free members who has received whatever you get from this thing, offering you the 90% discount off your first month to upgrade to a paid membership, 
just let me know in any way you can. Just comment on this video saying, yeah, I got it. I'd like to know how many people it's sending this thing to. Because I don't know. It doesn't tell me. This is all I get to see about it. This is all I know. That's it. I can turn it off or on. Change the discount amount. Or select that. Which I want. And change which tiers it is. That's all I know about it. So if you've had it, please do let me know. Um, But, yeah, that's it. That's everything. So, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Like and comment. Let me know if you want this to come back on Patreon. Um, uh, free members. If you've got that thing, let me know. And, yeah, that, that's it. Thanks everybody for watching. And I'll, uh, you'll see me in the next one. So, good night. <laughs>